Hey guys, what's going on? James here back with the income journey and in today's video We're gonna be taking a look at a personalization store on Etsy that has done over 21,000 sales and on this store they have a very specific type and style of personalization that they do The products look amazing, but it's actually not hard to get this type of style They've got personalization which obviously sets them out a little bit from others on Etsy who aren't doing personalization So let's jump in take a look at this store if you do enjoy the video hit that like button hit subscribe if you are new here and let's jump in and take a look at the store so you can see here the store is called personalized by queen based out of california in the united states and we can see here that they've done over 21,000 sales they've got great reviews and if we scroll down and take a quick glance just initially at their products we'll be able to see what type of designs they are doing so they do a ton of different products on here they've got some of our favorites they've got stuff here like tote bags and pencil cases they've also got like kind of some more custom stuff that they're probably manufacturing such as these like wooden wall mounts for your keys uh, down here we've got Christmas garden flags so some interesting products and then you've got more of your generic POD stuff uh, like right here you've got the kitchen apron great POD product coming into this time of year so they do a lot of stuff they're not focusing on one product type but we can see here the types of designs they're actually usually fairly simple most of them are kind of the text based designs with some sort of pattern in the background now they what they do is use some really really nice fonts and that's probably one of the biggest things that's going to set your designs off if you're going in and you're creating designs for your own Etsy or your own store and you're not using like custom fonts you're not going out there and finding cool fonts and you're using the default stuff that's installed on your Photoshop or your Canva, you're probably not gonna be able to find stuff that sets you apart from the crowd. So these guys are going, they're using some really cool fonts. I'll show you in a minute where to get some. And then what they're doing is just going ahead and pairing them with some nice backgrounds. And you know, obviously coming up to Christmas here, we've got like these tartan backgrounds that look really, really good. And then on a lot of these, they're applying a nice mock-up. So we can see right here, this is clearly like a mock-up photo that you would get on something like placeit.net. These look pretty cool and it seems like people are going ahead and purchasing them. These are a little different there's some different options here it looks like they do thanksgiving ones they do halloween ones you know they do it for different types of year this one specifically targeted at christmas so what i'm going to do in this video is we're going to take a look roughly how much the store is making and stuff like that but i'm going to put together in photoshop a design like this very very quickly just to show you how easy it is to create a nice looking style first off let's run some numbers and see roughly how much this shop is making now it's definitely going to be a little harder on this shop because they do have so many products in a different kind of you know range right here they've got pencil cases for seven pounds 42 then they're selling uh these for 13.94 and then they're selling other stuff here uh, at 25 pounds so you've got all over the show kind of prices but we'll say the average order value in the store is in around 20 dollars or so uh, obviously it's going to depend on the time of year what's currently selling well and what's not but we'll say it is 20 if we go ahead and plug that into our calculator, 20 times $21,405, that gives us a $428,000 store here selling personalized products. And you can see the banner at the top of her store really gives a good representation of everything that she sells. You've obviously got the tote bags here. This is kind of like a bridal themed kind of banner right here, but they do the mugs, they do you know, champagne glasses, uh, they do candles, which we talked about in the last video. You can now get them with print on demand. It looks the more I dive into this and see it, it looks like they're probably, you know, she's doing this in-house. She's manufacturing this stuff. She has her own facility or is using a more personalized facility than something like Printify. But there's no reason why you can't get started with Printify or a similar print-on-demand partner who provides pencil cases uh, and also, you know, kind of aprons here, all of that fun stuff. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put this together. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and open up a Photoshop document and just have a blank canvas that we can start on. So I've created a blank canvas here. It's you know just a fairly simple canvas. I'm going to create a similar design to the apron designs that we've seen there specifically for Christmas. So I'm going to head over to Creative Fabrica, which is my favorite place to get print on demand assets. And the first thing I want to look for is a tartan background. So I'm going to search for tartan. I think that's what that is kind of called. So if we do a 
search for tartan right here you can see some of them already appearing so we've got this red one it looks nice i like the red background color let's take a look so it looks like in this pack we've got a couple of different options that we can use from here uh we want to check on the website that it does have the commercial license and if you get a creative fabric a subscription you can download as many stuff as you want so i'm going to click download here it's just going to pop into my downloads and then we'll open that up and import it into photoshop so i've got one here called hunting tartan in this file there is other stuff we've got like national dead tartan so we can drag these in and take a look at them. So you can see they all look pretty nice. Now, there's a couple of things we can do when I've imported this. So I've pulled this into my Photoshop document. We could like squish it down a little bit and do this, which I think looks you know fine, but it's maybe not symmetrical and people like things to be symmetrical. So what I'm gonna do is just undo that. And then we're going to just cut off. So I'm just gonna have this middle bit right here instead of having all of it. So what I'm gonna do is just cut off the top and bottom. So I'm gonna rasterize this layer. That just means that we can now edit it. So I'm gonna cut this off about here, just on this white line right there. So just delete that. And then I'm gonna do the same down at the bottom and that's gonna give us the square here that we can then work with. So let's go ahead and delete that. And then I'm just gonna make this uh, the full size of, not the full size, but we'll make it kind of in the center here, looking good. So we've seen on the other ones on you know Etsy that they had this kind of like paintbrush effect. So I wanna do the same thing to this. Right now it's just looking square. It looks pretty bland. We wanna do something to set it off a little bit. So I'm gonna use a paintbrush effect to kind of smudge this up. What I've done here is very, very simple. It just helps it stand out a little bit. I created a new layer here and I'll delete it and do it again just to show you guys. So you can see here, it looks much better when it's got this border, there's a little bit of character to it. I didn't do anything complicated. It just makes it stand out and that'll make it pop when it's on that apron. So I'm gonna delete this layer. All I did was I grabbed a like paintbrush tool here. You can see I've selected it up here, Kyle's ultimate pastel palooza believe it or not uh, and then what i've done is selected the brush tool and i'm just going to create a new layer i'm going to put it over the top of this one for now and i'm just going to draw manually draw across this and kind of make it kind of a little bit wavy nothing too crazy but just to kind of offset it make it look natural uh, and we're going to draw right down here we're going to do one down this side as well just make this look you know, as natural and raw as possible, because that's the kind of feel that we want to go for. Then I'm gonna do the same along the bottom here. Not a directly straight line, just to kind of give it a bit more character. I'm gonna fill in that corner a little bit, and I'm just gonna drag that layer below the image, and now we've got this really nice border around it. So it's not the exact same thing that they have done on the Etsy listings we looked at. If you wanted to do that, you could, for example, go ahead and grab your eraser tool, select a brush here like this. You can kind of come in here with it and kind of drag it across, make it look like this kind of paint splatter in it, kind of fill in a couple of different edges, use a couple of different brushes, and that could look good as well. So there's definitely options here, just depends whatever way you want to do it. So now we've got that, we need to get a nice font over the middle of this, we're going to put the person's name on it and that's going to be our personalization aspect so what i want is some sort of script font that's going to look nice over the top of this we're going to put the name diagonally through this kind of like tartan patch right here so again i'm going to head over to creative fabrica and we can come into fonts you can get all of this in a single subscription check out my link down below uh where you can get all of them but we're going to go to script and handwritten here in the options and we're going to download we're just going to take a look here at some different fonts and then download one i've actually used this winter snow one before and i think it's quite nice let's see if it's still in my photoshop so i'm going to test this we maybe use a different one uh but let's go in here winter snow regular or winter snow italic i kind of like the regular one a little bit more so what we're going to do is it actually looks kind of cool in the yellow we're going to have to add some effects to this as well we're gonna make it really, really big. So let's drag it over. Uh, and let's say the person's name is, I don't know, let's just say their name is Rachel for the sake of this video. We're not gonna do it all caps because that looks absolutely horrible, but that looks much nicer right there. And then we're gonna drag this and make it look bigger. So there's gonna be a little bit of personalization you have to do every time because, you know, depending on the size of the name, if it's longer, it's gonna be a little bit smaller. If it's smaller, it's gonna be a little bit bigger. So I've got Rachel here. This yellow is probably not the font that we want to go with. There's two different ways we could do this. We could do it in black and double click on your, uh, your double click on your layer right here. And you could select an outer glow. 
and that kind of looks nice. I kind of like that. I think that looks kind of cool. We could also select a stroke right here. I'm going to change the color over to white to make it pop off the background. I think that actually looks better. I think that looks much better than the other option right there. And I think honestly, that looks good in itself. I don't know if we need to do anything else. We could flip that around so we could come in here and do this uh, as black and select our font color as white up here. And I think that looks good as well. It just does a little bit of a different feel on it. Uh, it depends on your style, what way you want to do, what way your store is let out. You know, you have your own style and that's how you're going to stand out. But for this, I think we could leave it as that. And I think that honestly looks great. But we want to add in some sort of effect that makes it look a little bit more Christmassy. So what we're going to do, again, head over to Creative Fabrica. Make sure that the stuff we're using has a, you know, a commercial license. I went ahead and typed in Christmas present here. There's some horrific ones appearing at the top. But if we scroll on down, uh, we might be able to find something that fits in with our kind of style, our vibe that we're going for. I kind of like these little ones right here. If we click on these, let's see what we've got. So commercial usage allowed. I'm going to download these. We're just going to add them in and see how it looks on the image. There's you know, hundreds to choose from here. Uh, you can scroll through, have a look, and really find the perfect one for your design. I'm just doing this as an example, but let's see. These actually look a little better. They're more like kind of that painted watercolor feel. So let's actually download this pack. So what I'm going to do here is grab this one. I think it just looks the most kind of generic present. And let's open up our Photoshop, drop this in. Now, the colors are a little bit different. Um, so let's see how it looks on top of it. Put it over here in the corner like this. See, I just don't know if it's the right, I think it's maybe like too bright compared to our background. Now we could go in and we could put some filters on it here so we could come in and actually go to image, adjustments, uh, brightness and contrast, and we could bring down the brightness quite a bit and just make it look a little more kind of grungy here, kind of more in tone with what we have. We could come in here to image adjustments and pull up our curves right here and we could go to our reds pull in the reds a little more, or maybe drag this down to really make them, you know, kind of sides pop. I think now this is looking a little more on vibe with what we've got. Now, what I do also want to do is potentially add a stroke to this. Now, I'm not sure how this will look. Uh, I just want to test it out. I think it kind of, it, it makes it fit in with our vibe a little bit more, makes it look a little bit better. So I think that's a cool design there. I'm gonna disable the background so we can e uh, see if this as a PNG. Let's go ahead and see if we can grab an apron mock-up over on Placeit that we can use uh, and see what this looks like on an actual apron. So I went ahead and saved that. Let's open it up in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert image. Hopefully we can just drag that on top of this. Uh, and you're gonna see that imported. So we're just gonna make it as big as it allows to keep everything in click on crop and see how that looks. Now that's definitely not where we want this to be. Uh, we also don't want the apron to be blue. We want it to probably be white. Uh, and then let's see if we can resize or, or just change where this is. So I want it to be way more up and definitely a little smaller because it seems to enlarge it. So let's crop that. Now we're looking a little better. We just want to move that down a little bit. Uh, so let's go ahead and resize again. I think if we had it about here, slightly bigger, I think will look really, really good. So you can see it's on there. I think it's still a little too big. Uh, I made it slightly too big there. Crop that. See how we look. I think we're looking good right there. We've got a nice personalized apron now. We could switch up the color a little bit. I don't know if an apron's going to be completely white. It might be more you know, kind of this, a little bit of a tan color to it. You could go completely wild with it, go with like a red apron here. I actually think that looks pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure if you can get red aprons on the kind of platforms uh, like Printify and stuff. Uh, the yellow actually looks like a tan mustardy color. Also looks really, really cool. So you can go ahead and customize these, use mockups and sell them as print on demand products. Now, hopefully you guys enjoyed that little quick tutorial. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Let me know down in the comments what you want to see, what other tutorials you want to see on here. If you do want to check out Creative Fabrica where you can get everything I used in this video, check it out in the link below. Get about, think, I think 35% off with my discount code. I do get an affiliate kickback from it, but I really, really appreciate it. It helps out the channel. So check that out and I'll see you guys in the next video. You probably like one of these videos on the screen right now as well. So make sure and check them out. I'll see you guys soon.